Save 15% off the order through Safari site using my exclusive coupon code DINOSCREEN. Link is in the description of this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Safari Limited review. Today we're taking a look at their new Spinosaurus. Ah, Spinosaurus, the dinosaur that changes its appearance pretty much once a year. Every time this happens, companies scramble to get the most accurate version of this dinosaur because it's quite a popular dinosaur and these figures sell really well. And Safari is the third company out of the gate this year to provide us the Spinosaurus with the new updated paddle tail. The first one was the large GR Toys figure followed by PNSO and now Safari has there on the board. Very surprised Collecti did not do one this year. Actually shocked by that. So before we jump into the review, there's something I need to bring up about this figure. You may have heard me mention in my other Safari 2021 reviews to be careful with your figures. And the reason for that is because of this figure right here. I've noticed with these new batch of figures, Safari is using a different material. It's a lot harder and a lot less rigid than what we're used to. There's very, very little flexibility on these figures. So I am very grateful that Safari sent these figures out to me to review, but when I got the Spinosaurus, came completely sealed in its own baggie and there's like a plastic uh, clamshell that covers the front limbs and hind limbs to protect it from warping during shipping. So when I open my figure up, let me pull it in right here, you'll notice the fingers on the hand are snapped off. That's the way this figure came to me. The fingers and claws were actually still in the baggie. So when I took this figure, I started messing around with it. And like, I, that's why I noticed this much tougher material. You can hear my finger when it snaps up against it. It's just very tough and hard. And there's like no flexibility on here. So I did save the parts. And my plan was to, you know, super glue them back together. So a couple weeks ago, I was taking this figure downstairs to prepare for gluing. And I kind of stumbled and all the pieces fell in my living room. I have no clue where they went. I looked underneath my couch, my TV stand, my coffee table, couldn't find them. The only one I could find was this claw right here. So yeah, um, so that's something to be mindful for with this figure. Um, like I said, just this material is just not flexible at all. And it's kind of a shame that it came like this, but if this happens to you, Safari has excellent customer service and I'm sure they will replace the figure for you. I didn't end up bugging them because I actually had all the pieces and I was gonna fix it myself and I'm sure it would look fine. But since I'm a klutz, I am stuck with a Spinosaurus that's missing two fingers. So enough about my stupidity. Let's get this figure up on the turntable and take a closer look. So let's start with a nice 360 degree view of this new Spinosaurus. This is a pretty good figure. It checks all the boxes of what we currently understand what Spinosaurus looked like. You got the paddle tail, the quadrupedal stance, and the really short back legs. The paint scheme is simple. The main body is this like light camo green color highlighted by turquoise blue markings. You got those, mar uh, the neural spines are highlighted in that blue. And you got some white mixed in there to break that up. And you also got some white striping down the paddle section of the table. So yeah, it's not the best color scheme, but I think it gets the job done. Now let's just do a couple quick measurements. This figure is nine and a half inches long from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail and just about two and a half inches tall. So Spinosaurus in real life was a big boy, estimated between 49 and 52 feet long. So with those measurements, I put this figure somewhere in the 160 to the 165 scale. And I think that is the problem a lot of people have with this figure. It's too small for a Spinosaurus figure. You know, a lot of us like to collect our figures in scale and not a lot of people collect 160 to 165 scale so I could see all like why a lot of people had an issue with this figure like I said it's a nicely sculpted figure but for me personally and for some other people it is too small but the good news is if you have a dinosaur collection and you're short on space and you don't want to collect all these large figures this is a small figure and it easily fits on your shelf and then you have a nice accurate representation of Spinosaurus so there definitely is a market for a smaller Spinosaurus figure out there. All right, let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this tiny boy. Starting with that head sculpt, this is a pretty good head sculpt of a Spinosaurus. you got the crest up here just before the eyes. The eyes painted in with a black pupil. The teeth are nicely sculpted and painted. No sloppy paint on mine. And then turn it around, let's see if my light can pick up the mouth right here. The mouth details are pretty plain. You can definitely tell Doug Watson did not sculpt this figure. Can't even really make a, a tongue in there. You just got some like glossy pink paint to give it that wet look. No, you know, throat definition in the back of the mouth right here. But you know, it's a small figure, so you're really not gonna notice that unless you like get a close look. 
uh, going down to the neck. You can see some nice scale detail sculpted in. You got more of that turquoise striping along the neck. You got some large scales sculpted on the top of the neck right here just before you get to the neural spines. And then going down to the front legs, here's the broken up, uh, uh, I think this is the left limb. And then turning around, this arm is a little bit better. Still have uh, the tips of the claws snapped off on this one and this one right here. But the claws are nicely painted. They have a nice white paint on them. And they have a little bit of that turquoise wash to bring out that scale detail on the arms and then turn the figure over you can see the underside is painted white with some nice scale detail and then going down to the spine you can see the spine is nicely sculpted a lot of nice detail on here i gotta say there's a lot of nice scale detail sculpted on this small figure so that is pretty impressive to me you get some of that turquoise blue striping with some nice white highlights in there to break up that sail and then going down to the hind legs you can see the hind legs are sculpted really small same thing the toe claws are painted in white and you have that turquoise wash to bring out that scale detail they have all these large osteoderms along the side of the body kind of wish the osteoderms were picked out in like a different color paint to kind of make the figure look a little less bland like i say it's a decent color scheme it gets the job done but it could just use a little bit more color and then going down to the infamous paddle tail the reason why we're getting all these new spinosaurus figures this year the paddle tail is nicely sculpted you got this nice ridge going down that's striped with white and turquoise some more of those osteoderms going all the way down to the tip of the tail even the underside of the tail has some nice scale detail on it so yeah all in all a pretty nice spinosaurus figure like i said my biggest issue with this figure is just the size but that is just my personal preference Moving on to comparisons, let's kick it off with some of the new Spinosaur figures that came out this year. Here it is with the big boy, the GR Toys Spinosaurus, which was the first company to get the Paddle Tail Spinosaurus out on the market. And this is a pretty impressive figure. Scales around 135 scale, which is the scale I prefer to collect in. You can see it absolutely dwarfs the Safari Spinosaurus. And let's pull out the next contestant. Here it is with the pnso spinosaurus which is smaller because it is based off a juvenile specimen so right here you have all three paddle tail spinosaurus currently available on the market so now which one do you pick it all comes down to how you collect are you into you know larger models that cost more like this gr toys one i think costs around 70 bucks the pnso one costs between i think like 40 and 45 dollars and then the safari one clocks in at a very manageable 15 bucks so you know if you're collecting for scale like in that 135 scale like me you're gonna want to go with the gr toys if you want like probably the best spinosaur available right now on the market you go with the pns one i know it's a small figure but it is based off a juvenile specimen and if you're on a budget and you really don't care what size your figures are go with the safari one it's going to save you a few bucks and let's just do one more spinosaur comparison here it is with the papo limited edition spinosaurus you can see this is another monster spinosaur figure now this figure came out i think what like a year and a half two years ago and it came out before the revelation of the paddle tail on spinosaurus you can see papo sculpted like this eel like tail so technically this was the first paddle tail spinosaurus and papo definitely got lucky you know every once in a while a blind squirrel does find an acorn and let's compare it to some of other Safari Limited products. Here it is with their Feather Tyrannosaurus Rex. And like I say, every time I take this figure out, still one of the best releases from Safari. And lastly, let's compare it to some of the other Safari's 2021 releases. Here it is with their awesome looking Baryonyx. Pretty cool that we got two Spinosaurus in the same year from the same company. And lastly, here it is with their equally impressive Das Pletosaurus, another figure that I absolutely love from Safari. And you know what? I actually don't have their older Cocarodontosaurus, and I've seen that figure a few times in stores. And just going from my memory, I think that figure would scale pretty well with this new Spinosaurus. So, you know, if you want two, you know, large predators that existed at the same time in the same ecosystem, definitely pick up that older Safari Cocarodontosaurus. It should go pretty well with their new Spinosaurus. So final thoughts on this new Safari Spinosaurus, yet another contender in the Paddle Tail Spinosaur Wars. It's a pretty good offering. I do like the sculpt on it. It has some nice detail. You know, the paintwork is a little bland to me. I just wish it had a little bit more color and maybe some kind of wash to bring out all those really nice scale details 
and osteoderms. And like I said, the biggest reason, which is just a personal opinion, for this type of dinosaur, this figure is too small for my collection. It may not be too small for yours, but that's just for me. And like I said, it clocks in at a nice budget-friendly $14.99. So, you know, if you're on a budget and you don't really care what scale your dinosaur figures in, or if you just like collecting small scale dinosaur figures, then this figure is a perfect fit for your collection. And remember, you can save 15% off your order directly from Safari's website using my special coupon code DINOSCREAM. I'll leave a link in the description to Safari's website if you want to order any figures from them. So that would do it for the review. I only have one more new Safari figure to review, and that is the mythical Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I'll be getting to that one shortly. And after that, I'm done with new Safari figures. But when there's some downtime this year, when there's not a lot of new figures being released, I'll go back and review some of Safari's older products. So definitely be on the lookout for those. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.